Are you managing one or more Microsoft 365 tenants? Can you ensure your tenants are configured the way you want them to at all times? Are you having difficulties keeping all of your tenants configured consistently? And do you want to have up-to-date documentation which is creating it your least favorite activity? Look no further, Microsoft 365 DSC is here to help. Hello, my name is Jorik Kuis and I am a senior cloud solution architect at Microsoft. And in this video, I'm going to tell you more about Microsoft 365 DSC. What it is, what it is capable of, and how you can use it to optimize your Microsoft 365 administration. First, if you never heard of desired state configuration. Desired state configuration, or DSC for short, is a technology that has been part of PowerShell since version 4. The goal is to allow you to define a desired state and have PowerShell DSC do the heavy lifting for you. Contrary to regular PowerShell scripts, PowerShell DSC uses a declarative approach. This, this means that you declare, declare which value a parameter must have, which is then used by DSC to configure the target. In this example, we see the desired state of a specific registry key. When deploying this desired state, DSC will make sure the key and the value exist and are configured as specified. Not just once, but continuously. Microsoft 365 DSC is an open source framework built on top of PowerShell DSC and is hosted on GitHub. It enables you to manage Microsoft 365 workloads using DevOps practices. It is led by Microsoft engineers and maintained by the community. You can easily download and install it from the PowerShell gallery. With Microsoft 365 DSC, organizations are able to represent their Microsoft 365 tenant configuration as code. So instead of logging into the admin portal, and changing settings manually from there, they update their desired state and DSC will make sure the tenant gets into that new desired state. But not only that, it will also monitor if the tenant remains in that desired state and alert you when it doesn't. And if you want, it can even autocorrect itself. That way, organizations can leverage DevOps principles like infrastructure as code or configuration as code in this case, and continuous deployment, continuous integration, or CDCI, to fully automate their Microsoft 365 administration. Deploying changes across all environments in an automated, consistent, and controlled manner, while at the same time being alerted when the actual configuration drifts from the desired state. For example, because someone manually goes into the admin portal and updates the setting. Let's have a look at all the possibilities of Microsoft 365 DSC. As mentioned before, it can automate deployment of a tenant configuration. You document your configuration as code and automatically deploy using PowerShell desired state configuration. But not just that, it can also monitor configuration drift. Once a configuration is deployed, PowerShell desired state configuration will periodically, by default every 15 minutes, Check if your tenant is still in the desired state, and if not, create an alert or automatically fix itself. Microsoft 365 DSC also allows you to export the current tenant configuration to PowerShell DSC format. It extracts a full fidelity configuration from any existing Microsoft 365 tenant. You can use that export as a starting point for your own configuration. But with that created export, you can do much more. You can generate documentation out of it. Simply convert any extracted configuration into an HTML, Excel or JSON report. That way you can do a quick and easy review of your tenant configuration. But there's more. You can compare a tenant against a created blueprint. For example, when you want to check if all your tenants still comply to the security baseline. Or you can compare multiple exported configurations for any differences. This can be two different tenants 
like a test and a production tenant, or two points in time, like a monthly export, so you can see what has changed over time. This will create a report of all discrepancies between the two configurations, so you can see exactly which settings are different. And lastly, when you're able to export and apply a configuration, you can also copy a configuration to a different tenant, for example, for testing, or to quickly provision a new tenant. Simply export the configuration of one tenant and import that configuration into another tenant. In the next demos, I'm going to show you exporting an existing configuration, generating documentation from this exported configuration, creating a discrepancy report of two exported configurations, and updating settings by applying a configuration to a tenant. When running an export, Microsoft 365 DSC will connect to Microsoft 365 using the specified credentials and start exporting the specified resources. Once the export completes, it will generate two files, one containing the tenant-specific information and the other the actual DSC configuration. You can generate the export command via export.microsoft365dsc.com where you can simply select the resources you want to export, select the authentication method you want to use, and then click Generate. When you have created an export, you can run the documentation commandlet to generate documentation of this export. You can choose to generate HTML, Excel or JSON. This way, it is very simple to always have, have up-to-date documentation. When you have two different exports, you can run the delta report commandlet. This will compare the two configurations and show you where they do not match. This way you will be able to see what is different between two tenants or what has changed over time in a tenant. When you have created your own configuration, you can deploy that configuration to your tenant. As you can see in this example, the storage limit is set to 512 gigabytes. The configuration that is being applied has a value of 1 terabyte. When the configuration is deployed and we refresh the page, you can see that the storage limit setting has been updated to 1 terabyte, which means the configuration has been su applied successfully without a single click in the admin portal. To summarize, Microsoft 365 DSC simplifies management of Microsoft 365 by allowing implementation of configuration as code practices. You can save time and money by automating your changes. And best of all, it's free to use. You can download it from the PowerShell gallery. If you want to know more, please visit our website on microsoft365dsc.com or head over to our GitHub project page where you can find the actual code, raise issues or ask questions. And if you like, you can even contribute to the project by implementing new functionality or fixing bugs and then submitting it as a pull request. If you're looking for information on how to implement CDCI using Microsoft 365 DSC and Azure DevOps, please check out our white paper at aka.ms slash M365 DSC white paper. We just released a new version of this white paper that can, contains a lot of improvements and completely new rewritten scripts. And of course, some more important information on DSC in general or Microsoft 365 DSC specific. If you have any more questions, please send me a message on Twitter. My Twitter handle is shown on the screen. Have fun exploring the exciting world of Microsoft 365 DSC.